Hello friends and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Noelle and I thought I would give you a little walkthrough today of what it was like for me to order bespoke shoes. So before I get into this, I just wanted to say that I got these shoes as a 10th and 11th anniversary gift for my husband and because it was COVID, he was going to take me to a jewelry store to pick out a piece of jewelry and I actually ended up saying, you know, I'd rather have these shoes. So these shoes were very expensive. I really want to avoid coming across as braggy about this. I, I did trade diamonds for them. <laughs> They're not cheap shoes. But I think that shoes are very important. It's something I'm probably never going to be able to do again. And I thought the experience of getting custom ones made for me exactly how I want them would make me have a pair of shoes that I could love forever, and that is what happens. So with no further ado, let me get into my experience. I went to my friend Vicky Dinchaco, who I know through Instagram, and because she's a cause tuber and she makes videos about making shoes, she is a wonderful person and a very kind friend, so I thought I would throw a little work her way. She does have several different kinds of tiers that you can get your shoes in. First there's the made to order category and those are only in standard sizes, they're only specific shoes and they are specifically priced and they're designed to let you have shoes that are made specifically for you but not necessarily specifically to your size, assuming you are a standard size. It cuts down on waist, it doesn't make her have to carry stock, it's kind of a great compromise in getting shoes. The next tier down is called made to size. And that is something where she has a catalog of shoes that she already has last for, that she's made, she has designs for. And maybe you have an odd size or you want them exactly to fit your feet or something like that, but you are super into the shoes that she already has designed out. You can still get them in different kinds of leathers and that sort of stuff, but it's sort of a halfway point between the made to size and the bespoke option. I went for the bespoke option because I was interested in getting basically fully custom shoes. Shoes that are designed the way I want them to be the shoes that I want in exactly the way that I want them exactly to my foot size. I'm Veruca. I know. So I contacted Vicky and I told her that I wanted these shoes. The shoes for bespoke start at $2,500, just so we get it out there. But you do kind of get two pairs of shoes, and I'll talk about that too. The first thing I did was contract her services, and I had to pay half of it to her up front, which was no problem, and she also let me know that it would be about six months to go through the entire process. Good things come to those who wait, so <laughs> I was like, okay, it is what it is. So she asked me to describe the shoes I want. You can go through the design process with her in probably a million different ways. She does design the shoe for you, but she does it entirely based on pictures you send her, things you tell her, you could draw stuff for her, you could, you can communicate what it is you want in any way possible. For me, I wanted her to specifically design the shoes, but I told her the kind of shoes I like, the kind of shoe I wanted. Then I sent her a bunch of pictures, which I will put on screen here for you now, so that you can see what I sent. They are pictures of magazine articles, photos, stuff like that, of shoes that I thought were really cool and were very close to the kinds of shoes that I wanted. I told her sort of what color I wanted, and I told her which elements of the shoes were particularly of interest to me. There is one that has a scalloped edge, and I particularly loved that shoe, and I pointed that out to her. She also did something on another shoe where she did some cutouts, and I was very interested in getting cutouts on my shoes. So we had to work around that also. Once I gave her all that information, she sent me back a drawing, which is on your screen now. I really liked this drawing, I thought it was beautiful. I wanted to make sure that I got the cutout though, and I wanted it particularly on the heel of the shoe. So she did a little design tweak and sent me back this second picture. That showed me the design tweak to the shoe. Funnily enough, this is not actually what ended up happening in the final shoe, and I didn't actually know that until I got them, which was kind of cool. A few weeks went by, and then she sent me this, which are my leather choices. <laughs> so I could choose from these, or I could say I don't like any of these. And I could tell her what about them I did or didn't like, and that would help her go find other leathers to source. So just because she sends you these, these are not the only choices that you have. You definitely can say, I don't like any of these, I've changed my mind, I want to go to white, and I would like it matte. And she will go source some other leather for you. But. Fortunately, I liked the leathers that she had in here, so 
we were kind of simpatico on the, the stuff that we like, so it was pretty simple. So then some more time went by. This is why it takes six months, because you got to go through all these steps. And she tells me that she is working on my tester pair. So that went on for a while. I, I think the shoes took a few weeks to make after that uh, for the tester pair. Then I get a box in the mail that has a little bag in it. And in the bag is my tester pair. And I loved them from the get-go. They were completely different than I thought they would be. Um, I did love the scalloped edge. And as you can see, she did do the design change right here where she brought this little edge down. It doesn't have any of the broguing on it. Um, it's not going to. The sole is actually very different than the sole of the other one. It did have the cutout in the back that I really wanted. And... Almost everything about these shoes were exactly perfect. It's definitely a simpler shoe than the one that is going to be the final pair because it's meant for you to do a fit test with and for you to see that if you like the design. So that was fun and I got to wear these around for a few weeks. Yeah, probably two or three weeks. And then she asked me to take some pictures and to tell her what I thought about them. I had a very, very slight, slight slippage on my left shoe and I was like, can you just shave off like a millimeter? <laughs> and I think that's actually what ended up happening because the final pair are exactly perfect. They don't slide at all. I just wear a little bit thicker socks with these. <laughs> so, but these fit really great. Uh, they are the most comfortable heels I've ever worn in my life. I was a person, I wear Skechers, and I was under the delusion that your shoe sole in here has to be soft in order for them to be comfortable. And that is entirely false, is what I learned from these shoes. Because I wore these around, and they were unbelievably comfortable. But if you stuck your finger in here, this is actually super hard. Like, I was, I was astonished. I was shooketh, as they say. My cats have gotten a hold of these. I've put a lot of mileage on them. They do have a different sold in the final pair but they're still very sturdy um and you can actually see right there sorry about my dirty soles but you can see the nails that she uses to make the heels because these are all custom stacked leather heels so i sent her all this information back i also took a video of me walking around in my sewing room with my shoes on and my pants rolled up so that she could see my my slippage and how it looks when i walked and she was she came back and she's like, it looks like this is happening, is that what it's like? And she was very great about identifying all the issues that were involved and I, we talked about how I like my shoes to fit, specifically because some people like their shoes to be very snug and some people like their shoes to be very loose. I like mine to be somewhere in between, but having a little bit of slippage is not an unusual thing for me, so I think I do actually prefer my shoes to be <clears throat> on the looser end of that spectrum. That was, I think, possibly in December, maybe January. It's been a while. It's been a long while. So then there was silence for a long time. <laughs> and I'm an impatient person, but I knew that good things come to those who wait. And then these showed up. And they're absolutely gorgeous. So you can see that this thing right here didn't have to happen. Um, she found a way to make this all one piece. She also gave a different color in the back, which I really like. And she brought the broguing forward so that it goes all the way through here, which I really like. Also, the sole is completely different, as we talked about. There is a rubber thing here to protect this one, whereas this guy doesn't have that. And also you can see that the sole is completely flat, whereas this one is curved and dyed see the curvature on it absolutely beautiful pair of shoes stunning bravo and what's awesome about this is I actually really love both pairs like I have an uptown pair of shoes and a downtown pair of shoes if you know what I mean I'm I'm very attached to these like I think these are awesome and they're they're a completely different shoe because of the design aspects being different and they don't have the broguing and they're a completely different leather so I believe that the first shoe is in this calfskin up here and my final shoes are in this soft kid leather and I thought the soft kid leather would be significantly softer because it is on that little sample softer than this calf leather and that's not true these shoes are actually significantly softer than these ones okay so I have a little footage for you which was the unboxing video so I show you the box the bag 
all the stuff about these shoes and some shots of these shoes so you can see what they look like when I got them and also my first reaction which was oh my god oh my god oh my god so I'll cut to that today's the day guys I'm so excited I'm so excited I I got my shoes and I have not opened them I have cut the label off the box and I've cut the box open but I haven't actually opened them yet because I wanted you guys to be able to see with me so here we are um I opened it as much enough earlier to see this beautiful beautiful thing I'm so so excited let me get you on a tripod so we can look at these together okay you're on a tripod so that now I can take this out of here oh my god this box how freaking lovely is this box let's open her up what a gorgeous box it comes with her card little postcard. It says, Dearest Noelle, I truly hope that you love your new shoes. I am so grateful for your support. If anything ever comes up, know that you can count on me. I will always make sure that your shoes continue to look and feel how you wish. Enjoy. Vicky. Vicky. This is freaking gorgeous. Okay, it comes in this beautiful bag. The ties on this bag are, of course, shoelaces. Like, how perfect is all of this packaging? I'm not gonna say I'm not a packaging nut here. Oh, the inside of the bag. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. Here we go. Oh, they're heavy. This bag is gorgeous. And it's so soft on the inside. Oh my god. These are so beautiful. Oh. Look at that. I can't believe these are mine. Look at this interesting shape right here. I love it. I'm gonna take out the stuff, but I do keep this stuff and I do keep my shoes in their boxes and I do reuse these every time I put my shoes away for all of my shoes actually. Oh my god. <laughs> this is my reaction video. Oh my god, you guys. Like, how unbelievably gorgeous are these? I'm dying. Wow. Okay, so here are some close ups. I love the silk ribbon. I love the way they hang. She changed the shoe design from the sample shoes ever so slightly. I should go get those and show them to you. So the broguing comes down here. The earlier shoes had a seam right here, but she decided that the seam actually didn't need to be there. So she decided to carry the broguing into there, which is absolutely gorgeous. And on my sample shoes, this is silver, and I love that it's gold here. These are so beautiful. I love them. I love them, Vicky. They're so pretty. 
the burgings even on the tongue. Try to get you a good angle. I'm going to take you off the tripod to get you a little bit better. Okay, so I did try them on and they are crazy comfortable and I just love them. I love the broguing on the tongue here. I don't know if you can... There we go. It's like it goes all the way to the tongue. This is so hard to show you. There we go. Oh my gosh. Yes. So I wanted to also show you the sample shoes because they are completely different actually in a lot of ways. So you can see that the scalloping uh, goes down way deeper on my sample shoes. I've worn these a lot, so you're probably gonna see scratches and cat cat has got a hold of these at one point. This is just believe me, I choked when that happened. Um, so the scalloping is significantly different in them. Um, this one goes much deeper, and there's a seam right here which doesn't actually exist in these shoes. They are totally different, which I actually really like because now I have two pairs of shoes that are actually totally different but kind of the same. They're both super comfortable. And then she brought the broguing up through here, whereas in the design she brought the broguing down here. So this adds a little bit more of it so that you can see more of it. I really love that aspect. She also, in the sample pair, my moon and stars is silver. And here it is in a like bronze color. So that's really pretty. I like that. And it goes with the bronze um, eyelets that are on here. So they are different shoes. <laughs> I'll give, I'll like it, They even feel differently when you wear them. Not a lot, but just very slightly. But they're both very comfortable. I was very worried about a leather stacked heel um, and not having, like I'm used to some Skechers with some very um, squishy insides and these are not squishy in any way and they are unbelievably comfortable actually. So I'm shocked. I just think they are the most beautiful thing. I love them. I love my sample pair too. Like I'm going to continue to wear these as well. Like, I mean, they are different shoes. They're different. They're even a different color. They're different leather entirely. Yeah, I, I love them. I, I think they're so gorgeous. Okay, so overall these shoes fit absolutely perfectly. Like they are spot on. They are so comfortable. I wish I had somewhere that we could wear them <laughs> soon. Soon we would be vaccinated and then I will be able to wear them all over the place. I, I am just so in love with these shoes. I think they're gorgeous. I think Vicky is the sweetest person. She is the best person to work with. She dealt with me going, I don't know which kind of leather. Which one do you think? What do you think? And she was like, nah, <laughs> you gotta pick your own leather. She gave me her opinion on what she thinks about leathers in general, but she did not choose for me, which was frustrating for a moment but also like really necessary for me to make the darn decision myself but she put up with me wavering about stuff for quite some time so there were things I knew like I knew I wanted this color or this color like some sort of red color I love that they're two different reds that's fantastic she, she put up with a lot of me going I don't know for quite some time it's probably best if people don't take advantage of that and just give her the the help that she needs to get the decisions that she needs in order to get these shoes done but she was so kind she just reminded me when when she needed an answer and she's a great person to work with I highly recommend her I will leave all of Vicky's information, including her channel, if you would like to watch her make shoes. She's amazing. And I will also uh, link her website down below so you can check out what shoes she's done and what is available in her stock. If you can afford bespoke shoes, you won't need any other shoes. <laughs> like She will make you shoes that will last you literally for the rest of your life. So yes, they are very expensive. Yes, it is worth every penny, probably more. She's, she spends weeks and weeks making these, so if you should pay your artists. And you know, you get artisanal bespoke shoes that fit your feet exactly. Pay for them. So, if you'd like to get in touch with her though, I'll leave all the information down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Go give a hi to Vicky in the comment section, and I will see you guys next time with another video.
Bye, guys.